Hello! Today we're going to be doing paper marbling, also known as dip dyeing. It's a really fun project that gets you really beautiful results in the end. So without further ado, let's get started! Here are the materials that you will be needing. You will want two container tubs that are at least two inches deep. One tub is going to be where you're putting the paint and dipping the paper, and another tub is going to be washing the excess paint after you dip. The size of the tubs are going to depend on how small or large the object that you're going to marble is going to be. For reference, the sizes that I'll be using are 11 by 8 inches for the wash tub and 9 by 7 inches for the dipping tub. You will also need cornstarch, paint containers or cups as an alternative, a stirring device, and I'm using chopsticks since that's what I could find around the house, some sort of device that measures one tablespoon, and I'm using a standard plastic spoon for this. Paper, and what I found worked best was using regular printing paper, but you can also experiment with different papers. Pipettes, acrylic paints if you're using the acrylic method, and oil paints and painting mediums if you're using the oil method. Let's start with the acrylic paint method. The first thing to do is to prep your two tubs with water. For the wash tub, all you need to do is to fill it with tap water. For the dipping tub, fill it with hot water and add 1-3 to three tablespoons of cornstarch so that the water is cloudy. Depending on how big your tub is, you might need to add more or less, but a good ratio is about 1 tablespoon per 500 milliliters. Once your tubs are filled, the next step is to make your dipping paints. To do this, Add a squeeze of acrylic paint and mix it with some water to lower its viscosity and make the consistency more watery. Make sure that the mixture is smooth and that you don't have any paint chunks as it will clog the pipettes that we're going to use to drop the paint into the tub. Once you have all the desired colors of paint you want, it's time to set up your space. Use the droppers to quickly drop your paint colors in and try to have easy access to all of your colors as this process happens quickly. Once you're happy with the design that you have, take your paper and dip it onto the surface of the water. Use your fingers to push the paper down, which sets the pattern design onto the surface. Pull the paper out of the dipping tub and transfer it to the wash tub to remove any excess paint. You could leave the paper to air dry, or if you're impatient, you can use the hair dryer to speed up the process. And that's it! Now for the second method, which is the oil paint method. The process is very similar to acrylic paint, except for a few steps. Again, prep your two tubs in the same way as the acrylic paint method. For the dipping paints, add a squeeze of oil paint and instead of mixing it with water, mix it with a painting medium or a paint thinner to lower its viscosity. The reason you can't use water is that water and oil don't mix. Once again, make sure that the mixture is smooth and that it has no paint chunks inside. Use the droppers to quickly drop your paint colors in. And once you're happy with the design you have, take your paper and dip it onto the surface of the water and use your fingers to push the paper down. One thing to note with this method is that the oil will try to stick to each other to form larger blobs. So be aware of that when you're dropping down the paint. Pull the paper out of the dipping tub and transfer it to the wash tub to remove any excess paint. You could leave the paper to air dry or if you're impatient, you can use a hair dryer to speed up the process. For this method, I recommend using a hair dryer because oil takes a lot longer to dry than water. Once the paper is fully dried, the project is finished. Hope you enjoyed dip dyeing your paper alongside me and best of luck to achieve beautiful results. Remember that art making is stress free, so relax and have fun with it. And that is all for this video today.